Alright guys, Marty here. It's a new day, new episode, and uh, I thought before I went out metal detecting I'd come search the field, see if I can find any arrowheads, and I think I just found a worked piece right here. Let me turn you around and we'll both take a look at this together. Well here it is, if you can see it, it's right there laying right on top. I'm the first guy to touch this and couple thousand years that's pretty cool tips broke but the base is all there pretty nice looking point I will take that and I'll get back on here if I find something else all right folks thanks for coming along today I'll get back at you bye bye for now Hey guys, sorry about the wind noise. We're gonna do a live one. I'm getting, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's jumping from 80, in the 80s to the 90s, 88, 90, 91, 86. So we're gonna try this one live right here. So, let me put that down, grab my shovel. See if I can do this. It should be right in there somewhere. Might be just a big old piece of junk. piece of junk all right on to the next one well this thing just rang up good looks like a big old blade off a of, off of something that thing's huge size of my hand all right on to the next one hey guys I'm back and I'm out here swinging at this old home site again and I just found a surface find here and right here is where the foundation used to be, I'm pretty sure, because it's all strewn with trash all around here. Broken pottery and chunks of stone and stuff. And I just came swinging down by this and checked that out. That looks like... I picked it up and checked it out. And that sure looks like a piece of... Uh, it's been worked. Indian work. Sure does. Huh. Well, I'll take that and I'll keep on swinging and see what else I can find. All right, I'll get back to you. Bye bye. Well, this was a pretty good signal 89.90, and it's just a big old chunk of copper. An old can lid or something. You can 
see the see the copper color in there it's all green so we'll take that and throw it in the bag and keep on going on to the next one hey guys I'm back and I just pulled this whole buckle out looks like old horse tack buckle or something Running pretty good alrighty on the next one you can see that got an old piece of horse tack stuff this is off a old single tree or double tree that was just a surface find not finding much out here besides junk no silver no coins today not yet at least got those couple of arrowheads picked up a bunch of pottery shards and old glassware and stuff uh, if I find something else I'll get back on here I'll keep going see you guys later Wow, these things really ring up good. This one's got a little doodad on the end of it. That's another one. Same size as my hand. The heck were they doing with these? I don't know. I'll keep going. See you later. Well, this had a signal ringing up in the 70s and I just dug this. Let's look at that. What the heck is that? Ooh, we got something. Ooh got some writing that's gonna be cool huh what have we got patented patent numbers clean that up a little bit see what we say patented Patented April 15th of 79, July 1st of 79, March 22nd of 81, and January 8, 16th of 83. Now that's 1879 through 1873. That's kind of cool. I don't see any markings on the back, but I got something that says something. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alrighty, I'll keep going. See you guys in a bit. And here it looks like we may have like the back to an old wind up alarm clock or something. That's what I would take it as. There's the mark in the dirt right there and right here kind of neat looking but I would say that if there's any writing on the back it looks like this is like the adjustment slot for fast and slow or whatever and a couple wind up things who knows treasure to me right yeah look he's looking he's smiling at you see that do 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 all right later bye bye right here I got a pretty cool old bottle top sticking out of the ground. That's an old one. Pretty cool. Too bad the rest of it wasn't there. That'd have been neat. All right, on to the next one. See you later. Well, check this out. See what I got here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Harmonica reed. There we go. All right. Oop. Let's see what else I can find out in this whole deserted spot. Right there is where the homestead was, old house or whatever. We got uh, mason jar lids there. We got pottery shards, pottery shards, old pieces of glass. I just had a deer run by me. That was kind of cool. So I will keep on hunting. All right.
right, you guys take care and I'll get right back. Bye-bye. Hey, 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 just swinging along. What do you see right here, folks? What is that? That looks like a big old clay marble to me. You bet, that's gotta be like my first ever marble I found. <laughs> Look at this right here. Can you see the top of that bottle right there? That looks kinda cool. Right there. Huh. But that marble's pretty sweet. Yes it is. I'll take that one. All right, keep on going. See you in a bit. Hey, hey, pretty cool. Now we're pulling out the old blue and white enamelware. You got an old pie plate or old dinner plate or something. I don't know, there used to be a, an enamelware factory from the town, the town I'm from. Elliott Manufacturing, I believe it was called. All right, let's throw that one on the scrap pile and keep on going. See you in a bit, bye-bye. Well, folks, I think we might end it on that one today. As you can see, I got a whole, I got a whole pouch full of stuff here. And this, I believe, is an old soldering iron. I believe. I think that's what that is. All right. My truck is over the hill from that post, down in the alfalfa, and I'm heading that way. So if I find anything on the way out, I'll be sure to turn this back in. But I want to thank you folks for coming along with me today. I'll show you all the junk I got here and the wrap up here in the end. So, all right, you guys have a good day and take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, here's the big wrap up of uh, stuff we got out at that home site. Um, you saw a lot of this, you saw the pie tin enamelware uh, you saw this big copper lid you didn't see this this looks like they turned it into a saw blade on the bottom or maybe it was a saw blade that they cut down for something uh, junk metal more junk metal big chunk of copper wire there's that bottle top that looked pretty cool I like that a uh, bunch of stoneware Pretty blue patterns. Uh, what do we got on this one? Uh, that one's kind of bluish. Uh, this one looked kind of cool. Leaf pattern on there. Um, more busted bottles. Um, some kind of blade off of something. Here's a piece of file, I believe. Junk tin stuff. I did find an old horseshoe. I don't think I filmed that. Uh, you saw the soldering iron, horse tack, horse tack, horse tack. Let's come back down to my good finds. Got a harmonica reed. I got the piece that has all the patent dates on it. But that's kind of cool looking. Um, this definitely is a worked arrowhead, even though it probably wasn't used as an arrowhead. This piece. Who knows? I don't see any actual flaking marks like the other one, but one never knows. Big clay marble. That's about it. That's the wrap up. All right. Uh, thanks for coming along, and I will catch you guys on another one. Okay? Take care. Bye bye.